pandemic shake the world and we're shook. I think changes we knew were gonna happen in fields, maybe in 10 years from now, happened in three months. You just look at retailing, the world's completely changed. Um, so we're really focused on what does it mean to be a 21st century creative college? How are our fields actually changing? How is this new technology that's been introduced something that we should really embrace? And what does it mean for a creative college to engage in that? So through the technology, through the changes that are happening in our fields, creative colleges right now and fashion programs must face the reality, face the fact we're shook, and really be something different and something new. And we need to take risks, embrace that change, and just steer right into that storm. So it's important to remember within the fashion system that we are dealing with humans and to be human-centered. So our concepts need to start with the consumer in mind and the understanding of the humanness of the people that we are designing for, that we are merchandising product for. There is a soul that is going to buy our products and love our products. Well, what's special about Drexel is that it has this cooperative program and that for 100 years, it has been focused on its connection to industry. We are training students to get real jobs in the industry. And what's special about Westfall and about it being a creative college at Drexel is that it both teaches the creative side. We have this awesome number three in the world fashion program. That, but we also have this design and merchandising side. We teach people about the business of being a creative. Drexel Design's fashion program is a bit of a bespoke um, type of education in that because of the size of our program, we get to know all of the students very personally. Um, this is all of our instructors and adjuncts, uh, professional industry people who come in to speak to our students. And because we know them so well, it's really easy for us to help tailor a program for them. So whereas you sort of think of this book as being very highly specialized and maybe intimate and sort of personal, it can also be extremely inclusive. I'm excited about the knowledge and skills that our students are bringing as they step out into a very complex world. They've got to be systems thinkers, but it's wonderful. They know how their designs can make an impact. Their designs can change the way that we as a society respect each other, how we can become more inclusive. They know that what we wear matters and influences that. To see the way in which our students are moving out into the world and they will be great decision makers and I'm excited about the future that they're bringing our way. Welcome to Drexel Fashion Design 2021. This year's incredible designers are compassionate, confident, and creative. This year's designs include responsible, circular, ethical, 3D, and inclusive design through the lens of fashion. Join us in congratulating this year's incredible designers and now enjoy the show. Floral Ethereality is a collection that embraces elements from the French Rococo and ancient Chinese culture. Inspired by the color palette and wall decor of Rococo architecture, as well as resin flowers that are reminiscent of the accessories paired with traditional Chinese clothing. The silhouettes combine design features from costumes of both cultures to create a modern elegance, allowing the wearer to embody the fairy tale of their dreams. My collection takes inspiration from myth, fairy tale, and other such works that draw on the archetypes found in the Jungian idea of the collective subconscious. I place particular focus on leather, metal, and natural materials, used in accessories such as belts, handbags, swords, and hats. Ferris is a costume collection that illuminates the inner lives of the archetypal princess, prince, and witch, referencing Anne Sexton's transformations alongside Grimm's fairy tales. 
Ferris questions the logistics of a happy ending for these characters, now stripped of names as they deepen and darken in their new garments. My collection is called Sugar Girl. It is about the strength and softness of women. Women's girlishness is not about age, but we can also be the warrior in life. I am using play suiting fabric and soft silk chiffon as my main fabrics, with ruffles, beadings, ruching, and lacing as key elements. Through my pieces, I hope to show people the intertwining of power with femininity and sweetness with cold. The fall winter ready to wear collection called La Form, which means shapes, is inspired by 1950s vintage style. Creating simple, comfortable, and dressy women's wear with beautiful shapes is the goal for my collection. Multiple colors are used in my collection to highlight the feeling of a combination of vintage and modern. I designed these everlasting pieces by adding modern elements and emphasizing the shapes as a whole. Serene Pierre's primary inspiration space is based on the contemporary and modern room set up in the Louvre Museum. The room at first glance had a very serene feel and was fast to be in a light refracted world of organic patterns. These patterns have unconsciously resembled one of the world's most beloved fabrics, as it is timeless and delicate all the same. The collection's purpose is to highlight and design clothing made primarily out of lace fabrics whilst keeping the designs approachable and modern. Rather than adding lace to embellish and make outfits updated, I seek to combine the themes of contemporary art that still reference the patterns of nature with silhouettes and styles that are easily wearable for office, party, and home events. This collection was inspired by the ambiance and slight chaos of an antique store. There is a rich history and unique story in every item, broken down and designed into a modern tailored collection. Sustainability is a focal point of this collection, both in fabric content and versatility in how the garment can be worn. Most of the materials used are completely upcycled from thrifted articles of clothing and home good items, which has created imperfections and inconsistencies to be embraced. This collection is dedicated to sustainability and feminine garments with rich history and a chaotic way of all seamlessly flowing together. This activewear collection, titled PHOD for Practice, Humility, Optimism, and Dedication, is designed to emphasize the combination of comfort and style in sports to help the wearer feel confident in themselves. With original prints and colors inspired by one of the most important athletes in my life, each look is meant for a different aspect of an athlete's day. Look for the outdoors, a look for lounging, and a look for in between. linked is inspired by connections, that everything is an accumulation of ideas, particles, or pieces that come together to create one formation. The incorporation of bright colors highlights negative spaces to emphasize the significance of the links. The beauty in the strength of a bond is represented by where the compositions bind together. One shape in each garment is scaled up or down to make a part of a completely bold and innovative attire. This hand pleated dress was inspired by the delicate underside of mushrooms. At the hip, the pleats release, allowing the dress to bloom and grow in presence. Within the sweater, mohair and merino tencel yarns were plated together to create a dimensional textile that becomes representative of security and protection.
My name is Katarina Esquivel. For my senior thesis, I wanted to create a line that incorporated sustainability and a sense of luxury. My goal was to design a collection that allowed the wearer to shine on the outside, even if for one they might not feel so radiant on the inside. I chose to utilize dead stock fabric and recycle vintage jewelry to embellish and elevate my designs. My collection is glamour and opulence woven into everyday life. Inspired by the cultures of the world, merging to form a unique blend of style, form, and texture. My collection, titled Pangea, seeks to explore what it would be like if this mass of land containing all seven continents existed today. This exploration led to approximately 50% of my collection made entirely by hand using couture and cultural techniques. All of the fabric is purchased locally, with about 30% of it purchased secondhand. This collection, Entwined, is fueled by the creation of my textiles, inspired by the peeling back of wallpaper and the natural corrosion of paint on old buildings. This sustainably designed collection uses layering and slow fashion textile techniques, such as weaving, to spark feelings of curiosity and security. My collection is inspired by abstract art, and each piece is individually hand-dyed. I seek to explore the beauty of the open-minded and flowing femininity from the 70s silhouette. I believe fashion lives in a cycle, and past trends come back to be loved and appreciated all over again. My first look consists of an oversized high-neck crop top with puff sleeves and a hand-painted print. Along with the shirt is an ombre-dyed skirt to match. The second look is a hand-dyed box-fitted dress featuring a zigzag along the front. Apophenyac is inspired by the natural human tendency to recognize faces in inanimate objects. This collection takes visual inspiration from 19th century face jugs made by enslaved African potters. Using upcycled and dead stock fabric, slow fashion techniques like quilting, crochet, and natural dyeing create the illusion of faces where they don't usually exist, demonstrating the human desire to find meaningful connections between everything, living or non-living. My collection titled New Wave is a sustainable clothing line inspired by the Art Nouveau movement. This era of art is based on creating without the pressure of being technical and focuses on artistic freedom. My collection uses different forms of fabric manipulation, such as hand dyeing prints and quilting with dead stock upholstery fabrics to emphasize curvilinear lines in nature. My collection is inspired by faces and how makeup can change a face. It's a collection to remind us how fun every day can be. It doesn't ask for attention, it demands it. I embrace bright colors with my fabrics and played with combinations by painting over the looks. I use fabric sourced from small businesses and focus on organic cottons, handmade tulle, and dead stock knits because responsible design is important to me. The looks are youthful and reminiscent of a child playing dress up. It's not only okay to stare, you should. As a part of my Metamorphosis collection, this sleeveless, draped, A-line, high-slit long gown with a cinched waist is inspired by the layers found within the Australian Outback. Fiery and bold, this dress makes a statement and shows the final transformation of the Saturniidae moth caterpillar living near this harsh land. The dress uses silk charmeuse and is paired with a power net embroidered bodysuit underneath. Fashion is a powerful art form. I see it as a language, universally spoken and constantly communicated. Growing up with my brother, Joe, I saw a lack in accessible design options for people with limited dexterity. And I saw the drawbacks of a standardized size range. 
for people with non-adhering body proportions. My collection, Joy, was created to share the joy my brother and his friends freely spread wherever they go. And even more importantly, to give that joy back to them with perfectly fit clothing that allows them to be themselves and express themselves. Vivid Escape is a woman's spring and summer collection that evokes emotion and sensibilities through color. These striking solids were made from dead stock linen fabrics that were hand dyed to achieve the perfect saturation of color. The minimal and oversized designs are size inclusive and can complement a number of women who want to express their love for color while feeling comfortable and powerful within their own skin. My collection is called Aurora. It's an ode to my love for outer space and the polar lights, or Aurora Polaris. It amazes me how there's so much beyond our reach and so little we know about it, and yet it's a part of us. It influences us in so many ways without us knowing how. I want my collection to be an expression of our universe. The fabrics feature original prints resembling the auroras and stars to bring their beauty closer to us. I chose satin as my main material because of its ability to drape and flow around the body. The playfulness of the stars is represented through satin's natural shimmer and shine. Inspired by fashion and film of the 1960s and 70s, my collection TOI 1964C explores retro spacecraft design aesthetics found in science fiction media. Formed by ideas of unattainable escapism, TOI 1964C evolved into a futuristic collection that resurrects design elements of the captivating space age era. Through the exploration of organic and engineered design, original prints, bold colors, and contrast trims are paired with dramatic proportions to create new shapes and accentuate the body. The textiles that I've created are the vehicle for my concept. I use knitwear to communicate both the comfort and discomfort experienced throughout a period in isolation. Familiar garments are flipped and reinterpreted within the realm of relaxed and relatable. With emphasis on sleeve and armhole construction, the looks present an open heart discussion about absence and inherent human loneliness, and ultimately, the introspection that we can gain from both. In my collection, I hoped to recreate the authentic raw beauty of movement, but fabric cannot dance without a human. The body is integral in the creation of organic movement. This collection lets each fleeting motion live a moment longer. Translucent layers atop the skin in lines and lights reveal the past and present, creating echoes of movement. Waltz of the Willies was initially inspired by the ballet Giselle, the story of a young girl who dies of heartbreak. This collection embodies the shared experience of loss and grief, as well as the strength and connection to nature many gained during the pandemic. My cyanotype printing process reflects the ghostly nature of the Willies by using sunlight to create a wispy imprint of pressed flowers on natural dead stock fabrics. In Eastern culture, the red crown of crane is a symbol of longevity and immortality, but ironically, it has been forced into an endangered species. This collection expresses the natural born grace of these birds. Their slenderness and elegance are embodied into each look. Through the usage of Eastern and Western techniques, this collection conveys the message of appreciating the beauty of differences. In a society plagued by racism and hate, let us prove that different cultures can come together and coexist beautifully.
Hello, my name is Michelle Garcia. I created a petite women's wear collection called Armonia, which means being in a peaceful state. This is an all-white collection focusing on shape, details, and craftsmanship. I was inspired by modern architecture and boxier silhouettes. Using repetitive box pleat patterns gives each piece shape and movement. Each garment can be mixed and matched to create timeless yet modern articles of clothing. Dichotomy is a women's wear collection that explores the difficulties of decision making through graphic images, the contrast of black and white, and the juxtaposition of textiles. The looks feature hand embroidered silk paired with knitwear in multiple gauges. They straddle the line between formal and ready to wear just as their silhouettes balance the line of loose and fitted with cropped and full length. The looks show off the organic movement of the soft textiles that were created using very structured and systematic methods. Inspired by the spirit and freedom expressed in 1970s Western cinema, Gemstone Cowgirl explores a modern reinterpretation of Western costume. My first look is a draped wool poncho paired with flowing, wide-like pants trimmed with red piping. The second look is a cotton jumpsuit with a zipped closure across the front. It has a fitted top with looser fitting pants to signify the freedom and movement represented within Western cinema. Inspired by immigrants, incarcerated individuals, and the crimes committed against Black, Indigenous, and people of color, a melting pot of ideas came to life and Motley Crue was born. The journey of the immigrant can be seen in the handmade textiles. The story of those incarcerated is reflected in the use of ripstop nylon, and the injustices faced by minorities are echoed in the sustainable cactus leather corset and gunmetal hardware. The demand for a revolution, reform, and inclusivity is evident in the adjustable and transformative garments that can be molded around anyone. My collection was inspired by the artwork at Shikuli Garden in Glass in Seattle. Simplicity, nature, and volume are the three concepts of my collection. All my garments are designed, manipulated, and made into shapes from nature, such as cocoons and butterflies. I try to minimize the emphasis on the shape of the body and instead focus on the shape of garments. I want my customers and audience to understand how personal and individual these garments can be for them. Comfortably Broken came from an experience in my own life when my husband and I walked through a kidney transplant journey, processing many vulnerable feelings, but finding comfort in Psalm 3418 that says God is close to the brokenhearted and saves those that are crushed in spirit. I use this experience to explore what it meant for clothes to be broken, from slashing garments in various places to using broken buttons. Enjoying the freedom of not trying to make a perfect garment, but rather deconstructing it. This developed into a women's wear collection presented in Clothe 3 d with garments that have a sense of comfort and ease despite being broken in places. As the new Dean of the Westfall College of Media Arts and Design, I could not be more proud of our students, our staff, and our faculty for everything you have done to make it through this like incredibly difficult year. I mean, my gosh, the work that you've done despite all this is just mind-blowing. The quality of the designs, the awards you're winning. I mean, as a leader, I'm just, I'm flabbergasted. I'm personally shook. I love it, and I just could not be more proud of you, and congratulations.